So I'm not very happy with Asus right now, and I honestly cannot believe that Asus can afford to treat customers the way that they treated me. All right, let me get into what happened. So I haven't been making videos in a while, and mostly this because I came down with a cold and I've been kind of sick, but my graphics card actually died, so I don't have a, an ability to record gameplay footage, so I just haven't been recording videos, right? Um, not like they're on high demand anyway, but still, you know, I haven't been recording. And um, this this was because of that. My my graphics card died, so I, you know, I don't have any way to record record the videos. So, what do I do? You know, I, I've only had this card for about 28 days, you know, not even a month. I haven't even had this card, this 980, my 980 Ti, I haven't even had it for a month. And it just dies, right? I got this nice 4K monitor, I plug it into my computer, and I'm working on it, I'm playing on it for like 20 minutes, and all of a sudden I experience artifacting, right? Card just simply dies, right? So I contact Asus, you know, I had the Asus Strix 980 Ti. I contact them and I let them know what happened. And they said, uh, we will process an RMA, you know, here's the information, here's the slip, that you need to uh, need to fill out, you know, uh, electronic signatures, all that, and you'll be good to go, you know. And I was like, this is great, you know. I, I'm I'm getting fast response, you know, and I'm I'm gonna be able to have a card in like a week's time. And then I read the fine print, okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually read it from the site too, okay. So these are the instructions that I was given. And uh, they're, they're kind of the regular things. RMA must be written on the outside of package in order to avoid delays. Uh, must include RMA checklist. It's valid for 30 days from the RMA issue date. Automatic emails will be sent your way. Here's what, what bothered me right here. This is when it started getting weird. Replacement units may be ASUS recertified and or remanufactured. Any replacement will inherit the warranty of your original product and does not extend or alter your original manufacturer warranty term. Now, what that means is I'm going to get a refurbished card. I'm going to get a refurbished card and it will not improve. Uh, it will not extend the warranty. Now, I don't care that it didn't extend the warranty. But I haven't had this thing for even 30 days, and I'm going to get a refurbished card, okay? Now, if that's not bad enough, to send my card back, they had me pay the shipping, okay? I'm being punished. I'm being punished for something that the manufacturer screwed up on. I didn't damage my card. I, I put it in my system, and it worked fine for almost a month. And then all of a sudden, it dies. And it's, I, I'm getting punished? I have to pay for it to go back? Which doesn't bother me so much. But then I'm getting a refurbished one in return? I didn't like this. So I contacted them. Right? I, I contacted them. And here's what I wrote. Okay? I wrote into them. I purchased an Asus Strix 980 Ti from Amazon a little under a month ago. And it failed. I experienced artifacting on my screen and I issued an RMA for the card. The card is en route to my house and is expected to come in four days, but my issues are these. I was expected to pay nearly $20 shipping to ship it back to you guys. That wouldn't be an issue if I had damaged the previous card, but I had to pay for a card that experienced a manufacturer error and died. Secondly, I am receiving a refurbished card in return for my new one, which had only been used for under a month. I barely used the card, and I'm being punished for it breaking, when it wasn't even me who ruined the card. It just stopped working at random, and I couldn't believe a company like Asus would treat customers this way. To simplify, I got a 980Ti graphics card with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Less than a month of use, the card dies. I am forced to pay shipping fees for the RMA, and I am receiving a refurbished card in return for the one I just bought brand new. If you do not wish to reimburse me for the shipping, that's fine. But I would like either my money back for the card, 
or to be given a brand new one. Thank you. So I wait. I wait about maybe a day. And they reply. Okay? And this is what they say to me. Dear Barry, thank you for reaching out to ASIS Customer Care. We are very sorry that you are having issues with your unit. We understand your concerns. However, ASIS North America is a warranty service center only. ASIS does not provide any type of credit, refunds, upgrades, model changes, or new retail box replacements. Warranty is limited to hardware repair only. Please contact place of purchase for these services. For more warranty information, please visit, and they give me their website. Also, the warranty does not cover for shipping. If the unit was still within the 30-day return period, it should have been sent back to the retailer for replacement. Regards, Acer Customer Service. Now look, okay, I bought it from Amazon. Okay, first off, I've got the card from Amazon. And Amazon only had like a 14, maybe they did have a 30-day period. But I went to Amazon first to try to get it RMA'd. And they had said that there was no chance of me RMAing this card, okay? Even though it's only a month old. And I'm going to contact Amazon once more about this because that's not okay, okay? I'm going to contact them once more. I have the new card coming in as we speak, but I'm still going to talk to Amazon about this, okay? But the biggest thing that bothers me here is the fact that these cards, they come with an extended warranty, okay? I just spent around $700, $650, somewhere around that area, okay? That's, that's a chunk of change, you know? I spent quite a bit of money, I invested quite a bit of money into a graphics card. And in return, for this graphics card experiencing an issue... I'm getting a refurbished card, which I had to pay another $20, around 20 I think it was $18.98 for, for the return uh, shipping costs. Is this right? Does anyone actually think this is, this is the right way to go about this? And I wonder, how in the world can Asus do this? You know, Asus should be kissing the customer's butt. Okay, they're not the only ones out there selling graphics cards. EVGA sells graphics cards. And I was told by many people if, if this was EVGA, they would have had a new card at my doorstep two days ago. They would have rushed to get me a new card. Another thing that I'm looking into, PayPal protects your purchases, right? If I used PayPal on this purchase, which I really do believe I did, um, they'll refund me. I know they will if I can prove that they've done this. And I have all the documentation. I have it right in front of me right now. I have all the proof I need to say, hey, this is not a company I know I trust anymore. This is not a company that I'll be buying anything from it. Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly won't. I won't be buying Asus products anymore. Um, and I couldn't believe that they, a company as big as Asus, um, is, is doing this to their customers. Um, anyway... What do you guys think? Do you think that they, they're in the right here? Am I just overreacting? Or am I in the right? Not even 30 days I've had this card. You know, just... What do you guys think? Anyway. Thank you. See you guys later.